I bought this uh, laser level. It was a hundred bucks. And uh, what I'm doing with that is I'm going to level the laser one direction, but not the other. So in other words, side to side in the garage, the laser will be level, but forward to back, it'll actually be tilted forwards. And you can see here, I got the, the beam close to the right height, but it's probably not level. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit three points on the cab. I'm going to hit the back of the cab. I'm going to hit right in front of the door. And then I'm going to hit on the front of the hood. And the whole entire body line should be all straight. And that'll be my level line. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to jack the back of the bed up and down in order to get it level with the front of the cab. Because I, I want to stick with where the front of the cab is. And the bed is going to match the cab. So I'll show you that in a second. You can see this, this bubble here is centered, and that's side to side in the garage, and this bubble is up towards me, so that it's leaning down towards the front of the garage, and then that would be down towards the front of the vehicle. So whenever I turn this on then, and you look on the side of the truck, I'm, I'm almost to the body line, I'm a little bit low, and then as I come across, I'm, I'm even too low, and I'm really low, so I, I got to go back up a little bit more in the front. So I can kind of adjust, I can figure out which way to go and get it where it's supposed to be. And then I have to adjust the other one because it goes off as I adjust toward the back. And something like about there. Okay, I'm a little, little low still, a little low still, so maybe I can jack the whole thing up. All right, I'm almost right there, and I'm almost right there, and I'm pretty much right there. So that that looks like pretty much it. I just want to make sure that it's side to side. I'm good again because it looks like I moved. All right, so there, I'm good. All right, I'm good there. I'm good there. And I'm good there. So now I have a level line. My door's a little off. It looks like it needs jacked up some. I can move the hinges. But it looks like my body line is good all the way along. So now we'll move back here and you can see that looks like I'm just about touching on the bed right there. That's where I want it. So since I cut this thing four and a quarter inches, now the top of the bed lines up with the body line. And so now I got to come back here and you can see I'm low about uh, half an inch or so. So I'll have to shove some washers in there and then we'll look at it again. So now I uh, put some washers under the back end and running them up the body line. You can see I'm pretty much on the body line. And this, keep in mind, this is just rough because I got to beat all the dents out of this thing. And then here you can see right on the body line. And as I go up, I'm, uh, if, if you can see it's touching down there a little bit where there's a dent. Maybe you need to drop it down just barely. And I need to take this giant dent out of uh, right here. And then on the far end, here, why don't you go, can you see over there on the other side? See how it's just touching on the far side? And coming down, and then you probably can't see it, but it's running all along the whole bed. So I got a pretty good level line side to side in the garage. And the whole thing is pretty straight to get me roughly started. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the fenders on and I'm going to get the uh, bed all aligned side to side and forward to back and connect the fenders on to the running boards. And then I'll be able to chop my front fenders. Uh, so that's it for now. The bed of the truck and one of the reasons I decided to go to a uh, diamond plate steel instead of having the, the wood bed was because I knew that the frame was getting awful close to the bottom of the bed and not, not including rear end. The rear end may be okay, but I, I think these spring perches are really close. So here I'm on top of where the wood would have been, and you can see that I'm just barely making it to that spring seat. I'm barely clearing it. So without that wood there, I'm, I'm hitting it. So if I put the metal plate right here where the string is, I can more or less uh, squirt a bunch of silicone underneath the plate, and I can support the bed with those spring seats. And you can see over here, I got this tubing, which is uh, three quarter by three quarter, and it's only a 16th thick, so it's, it's super light, but it's nice and strong. And by the time I put it on four of these pieces of one by, 
I'll have a nice grid structure that I can lay the steel plate on and I'll only have to cut out just where these uh, frame rails come up inside and uh, of course I'll have to have something for that uh, air inlet. Uh, maybe I should put that underneath, I don't know. But anyways, so that's where I'm going to have my wheel tops coming all the way over to here and so that the rest of it will all be one big giant sheet of diamond plate steel. I have the rear end jacked up all the way and you can see with this piece of three quarter inch tube on here I can still get my hand in it. It's, it's close, about three quarters of an inch. That, that's how I made it so I could have the wood bed on there. And uh, so I guess I really don't have to worry about where I put these pieces of three quarter inch tubing. And I'll probably end up with uh, at least five of them. And uh, I'm going to weld this all together and make up one big grid work. And then I'm going to lay the uh, sheet on top of here and take a little bit off of these supports down in here. So it lowers it down and then the, the plate will be underneath of this lip. And uh, I think that'll work out pretty good. It's certainly not a real low truck. It wasn't after a real low look. I'm just trying to make a more of a street rod stance. See the uh, piece of paneling that I put in there and I, I cut around the wheel wells. And I'm using that as a template. And I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna lay it on top of the uh, 14 gauge diamond plate steel and cut out my real bed floor. The uh, entire bed flipped over and you can see the three quarter inch uh, square tubes that are up against that steel plate that I'm using for a floor. And so I did that so that if somebody decides later on they want to stick a wood floor in, they could just get rid of that three quarter inch square tubing and that plate and they could put a wood floor in. But uh, that's what it looks like from underneath. You can see I got the, uh, the floor in and that's about it for the bed right now. I'm going to put a couple more supports in the center near the, uh, near the wheel tubs and I still have to drill my holes and stuff for the rear but Basically, that's the way the bed's going to look. And I'm finished with the bed. I'm going to move back on to the front end and cut in the fenders.